We are 19 days away from the state's runoff election. Our Verify team has been taking a closer look at the political ads filling our airwaves. Some claim Senator Kelly Leffler sold stocks following a private Senate briefing toward the beginning of the pandemic. 11 Alive's Joe Hankey verifies what's true and what's not. 11 Alive viewer Jay Zanman emailed us, both Democrats in the U.S. Senate races claim their opponents sold slash purchased stock based on a private meeting where they were the first to learn about the pandemic. Did our senators trade or have someone trade on their direction based on this inside information? Good question, Jay. For Senator Kelly Leffler, a campaign ad from her opponent, Reverend Raphael Warnock, makes that claim. So let's verify the campaign ad as we also answer your question. As we do that, here are our sources. Senator Leffler's publicly available financial disclosures of her stock trades along with her past interviews and tweets. January 6th, billionaire Kelly Leffler is sworn into office and over the next 18 days doesn't make a single stock transaction. U.S. Senators frequently file public financial disclosures and Leffler's show her and her husband did not move stocks for 18 days after she was sworn into office. So that claim we can verify is true. Then Leffler receives a confidential briefing on the threat of coronavirus and immediately starts dumping stocks. As Kelly Leffler downplays the threat publicly, she makes sale after sale, getting rid of $3.1 million before the market crashes. On January 24th, Leffler tweeted about receiving a briefing from the president's top health officials on the coronavirus outbreak. The ad claims Leffler immediately began dumping stock, totaling $3.1 million before the market crashed. Leffler's filings show 27 stocks were sold between the day of the meeting and a mid-February market crash. Senate filings only list ranges for transactions, and Leffler's add up to between $1.3 and $3.1 million. I am informed only after those trades are made. I have nothing, uh, you know, in terms of a say in what buys and sells are executed, what that timing is. Leffler also tweeted on March 20th, I do not make investment decisions for my portfolio. Investment decisions are made by multiple third-party advisors without my or my husband's knowledge or involvement. And a copy of Leffler's disclosures provided by her campaign show notes given to the Senate Ethics Committee reading, transactions notified to filer on or after February 16th, 2020. We cannot verify the claim that after a Senate coronavirus briefing, she began dumping stocks, totaling $3.1 million. New tonight, the Department of Justice is dropping its investigation against Senator Kelly Leffler. Leffler and multiple other senators were investigated for claims. They used insider information following the January coronavirus briefing. But in May, the DOJ dropped the investigation against Leffler and her campaign called it exoneration. In April, Leffler wrote a commentary in the Wall Street Journal and said to end any distractions, she would be selling off all individual stocks, transition to mutual funds, and her financial disclosures do show 92 stocks were sold in April. She stopped short of saying she would use a blind trust, something her predecessor, Johnny Isaacson, did. So to answer Jay's question, we cannot verify Senator Leffler or someone she directed used insider information to dump stocks. We can verify, looking back, though, that Senator Leffler has since stopped trading individual stocks and the investigation into her trading was dropped.